Hey guys, Peter here. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about FBM versus FBA. So if you don't know what that is, it's Fulfillment by Merchant versus Fulfillment by Amazon. So if you're looking to start a business with Amazon, that's something you're going to have to decide on, you know, what's going to work best for you. And I've gone through this myself, so I figured, hey, it's something that might be helpful for you guys that are looking, that are looking to possibly get into the Amazon game. And uh, but before we get into that, please smash that like button as always. When you hit that like button, it tells YouTube that this content is important and more people will get the chance to be able to see this and um, hopefully benefit from it. So smash that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't yet. Um, on this channel, we talk about cryptocurrency, we talk about you know, home-based businesses, making money online, investing, things like that. So anything to kind of move you away from a boss and get you more into that residual lifestyle, the more of a flexible way of doing things. So it's not for everybody, but if you're on this channel, you're thinking about it. So that's what this channel, that's what this specific channel is about. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into it. So. Fulfillment by merchant versus fulfillment by Amazon. What are the options? What are the pros? What are the cons? And when I put it together, I personally, well, we'll start into what are the pros. If you're doing fulfillment by merchant, you have more control. You have the products on hand because you're, you're shipping them out. You're labeling them, you're packaging them, you're doing all the shipment um, through and through on your own or you know with a team or whatever and so you're gonna save some money with the shipment part and so and then you have the control aspect so those are two positives is that you will save some money and you will be able to have more control because you're gonna have them on hand so that's something positive. The downside with it is that you're gonna have to deal with the shipping yourself. And with that, it's gonna take you more time to maybe be able to deal with and, and deal with the uh, research for another product or research on what you're already doing. So it, it, you gotta ask the question, is it worth the couple bucks? And at least from last I've seen, it's a couple bucks of a savings to give more of your time. Now, I never did fulfillment by merchant at all for a couple reasons. And I want to say for the, for the negative reasons, one is the time. Second of all, when someone is shopping on Amazon, you can see on the listing if it's a fulfillment by Amazon or fulfillment by merchant. And so, when you're dealing with Amazon and their quick, their quick um, shipping and all that, it just seems like a le less of a headache to just focus on shipping the products to a Amazon warehouse and let them do the work. So, so when you do a, a, a um, fulfillment by merchant, there's not as much trust there. Whereas if Amazon deals with it and they're very, you know, customer focused, um, you're gonna see more trust in it, and and they know they can they get better shipping. Um, I guess shipping deals and and more trust built there. So the positives for, and you have to decide on what's best for you. The positives for. Uh, fulfillment by Amazon is you have the credibility of it coming from Amazon and the customer knows that so you're, they're dealing with Amazon directly they're not dealing with someone that they don't know you know you versus anyone else that you could it just there's there's a credibility and trust there um, and the Amazon does a pretty good job for the most part you know I talked about the situation I had, and I couldn't believe I was charged, but that, that's a different situation. Um, another pro is that you save time. So, 
I had 10 products, up to 10 products in my selling career that I was, that I have created listings for and launched. So I didn't have time to do the shipping and I had a hard enough time shipping um, the bulk when I got them, going to the, you know, Office Depot to ship them out to an Amazon warehouse. That was hard enough for me. So I think that's a lot more convenient and I think the couple bucks, you need just need to plan for it um, ahead of time when you're putting together your game plan on is this the right product I should start with or, or as you're building your product list of what you're gonna be selling. Um, I think it's not, it wasn't worth it for me. Shipping it directly to the warehouse was enough work. Um, but some of the cons is the cost. I did have to give up a few bucks because of that. And I didn't have the control and things like that. So that's kind of the basics. You know, it's gonna cost a little bit more, but they deal with more of the day-to-day -day headaches. So that's kind of my take. I prefer fulfillment by Amazon, and if I were to ever do it again, I would do it that way. Um, I actually, I wouldn't want to sell on Amazon. I would want to create a store and create a funnel and maybe do a, a shipping center somewhere else that's off Amazon. And I think Amazon's great for learning and training wheels and things like that, but long term, I think you need to build a presence outside of Amazon because um, I don't know if I mentioned before about when I lost, um, I changed my one of my business credit cards and Amazon shut me down for 90 days for no reason other than the, the card and so I had no income and they just cut me off and I've heard some horror stories about things like that. So anyways, that's my take with Amazon. I um, hope that's helpful and again, smash that like button if that was helpful and we'll catch you on the next video.